Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm Josh, or as most of you call me, Techify. And I'd like to thank you all for the recent support of my YouTube channel. It wouldn't be, I wouldn't be here without you guys, and uh, I'd like to thank you guys. So, in order to return back to you guys, I'm dropping a video about the keyboard and mouse support. Um, nothing's really changed about um, Switch Control or anything like that. But the first game has finally have on iPad and iPhone has keyboard support. All you need to do, pair a Bluetooth or USB through via adapter or a mouse or keyboard, Bluetooth, wired, doesn't really matter. Just plug it in, pair it, and I'm gonna show you the game starting off right now. So unfortunately guys, this app actually does cost a little bit of money. It does cost $5, but it is worth it for the game. Uh, I think it has super high quality if you're playing on a higher iPad or a higher iPhone. And it does have keyboard and mouse support. This is the first game that does have it. So um, it's not Apple Arcade or anything, just one time fee and you should be set. So um, sorry about that. And then on a little bit of a negative note, if you're gonna wanna play like Minecraft or Roblox or anything, I'll show you that. Like again, I'll lead you through all the steps. But it's not going to be any new news, um, unfortunately, because nothing else has came out for Switch Control. So I'm just going to have to, you know, run it through again. So let's let's get it right into it. So apparently I wasn't actually recording audio on this. So I'm just going to do a little bit of commentary, a little bit of a voiceover. So as you can see, there, my mouse is on the screen. It's loading up the game right now. That cost me $4.99. Uh, again, it's on the App Store. No Apple Arcade fees or anything. Just one-time payment. So I'm going to accept it. And as you can see on the version update, it has added support for keyboard and mouse on iOS 14 or later. I'm going to agree to these terms eventually. Just fiddling around with the game right now and um it does i'm just getting a brief um little connection with the game and seeing how it works and um if there's anything i need to know important but at this time you can actually configure the keyboard and mouse controls that you want so it's not a set of default keys or anything you can actually choose what key you want to place so as I'm going to go here, I'm just saying the graphics right now. Since I'm running an iPad 6, I'm going to go to ultra high, frame rate high, subtitles off, and uh, we're good to go. This is touch screen, and we're going to go to keyboard and mouse. And as you can see, here's all the button layouts. So I tried playing with that first. If I did click that, then it wouldn't work. Um, but I actually had to click on the move forward and that worked. So do not click on whatever you're trying to do. Click on the move forward or move backward, turn left, turn right, and so on. That will work. So as you can see, I'm just kind of messing around with it. I'll play with the keys later, but you can actually configure each every each and every switch, and which is pretty cool. That's the touch controls. And if you do have a controller or a gamepad, you can also connect that to this. So, um... I'm gonna go to a new game. Just click a normal. And uh, yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with the game right now. Waiting for it to load up. There's a lot of skipping at the beginning. There has to be a way to fix that, I'm pretty sure, because there is a lot of skipping or what a lot of tutorial, I'm gonna be honest with you, but uh, there should be a way to turn that off. But as you can see, the mouse, don't freak out at first because the mouse does not work at first. Or if you're in, if you're, if it has like a tutorial, the mouse, you'll be able to move it. But in game, you won't have to hold down. The mouse will automatically work. So, um, yeah. As you can see, there's no mouse cursor on the screen. And uh, I might seem like it, but those are like little flies or something on the screen. But I'm fully moving the mouse right now. I accidentally clicked out just to show you that there's no other gamepad detected except for my Bluetooth and Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Sorry, I just stuttered a little bit. Um, but you, as you can see, it says hold screen to skip. You're going to get that a lot in this game. But I am tapping all the keys and everything to make sure that it works properly, right click and left click work, WASD works, space works, everything is going to work the same. You can configure every switch too. 
so there's that. Um, I'm having to skip again. And uh, let's move on to the next section. So if you're planning to play Roblox or Minecraft or anything like that, Among Us is a very good game for this because it only is a 2D game. You do not need your mouse for on-screen movements unless you're... I mean, no, actually, you don't need your mouse at all for on-screen movements. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to create a recipe, add a switch or something like that. You you can go watch my other, res, um, uh, other switch control videos and uh, how to configure a recipe. Um, but right now, this is it. All you do is tap on A, W, S, D, space. And you can configure that switch. Now, I'll put a card up. but um, Or I'll put a poll up what you guys want my next video to be. So uh, make sure you check that out on the um, subscribe tabs if you are subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, you will not get the notification of what you want my next video to be. So please subscribe if you want to. Um, I mean a lot. And um, yeah, right now I'm just, my audio doesn't work again, so I'm doing a voiceover. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to hold at point if you want, like if you have a D-pad, which is Minecraft. Or if you're going to do a custom gesture, do what I just did, but a lot neater because it will recognize that pattern and it will um, do what you tell it to. So once I turn on switch control, which you can do manually or from the device settings, you can just tap on switch control. And right now I'm going through how there is no way to change the auto scanning time. I mean, there is, but like you can't actually hold the duration of the actual custom gesture itself so as you can see on the left hand side of the screen there's going to be it's going to scroll down what that does is the custom gesture of course i didn't do anything for that to happen i just programmed it so as you can see it's move. it's configured it to the minecraft recipe why don't i push w anytime now it scrolls down as you can see there's a little there's a little dot right there. And that actually is the custom gesture itself. So that's basically it. Um, let's move on to the next section. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot. Um, this is the first game that has keyboard and mouse support. I'm sorry I flew through the switch control, but we are moving out of switch control into iPad OS keyboard and mouse support through default games. So we're moving out of settings, going into the default games for the keyboard and mouse support. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Um, if this was helpful at all, make sure to leave a like and uh, really help me out a lot. But if you do have any comments or concerns, leave it down in the comments down below. Uh, I'd love to hear back from you. I respond to every comment and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.